Staffordshire-based precision engineers Greenway Pepper have recently begun using sliding head lathe technology provided by Star Micronics. My name is Greg Pepper, I'm Managing Director of Greenway Pepper Precision Engineering. Um, we have been going since 1998. We make medical parts that go into uh, mass spectrometers, uh, DNA testing kits. We do defence work, stuff that goes into the new Land Rover and the new aircraft. Within the company we have a total of 19 CNC machines. We've obviously gone into sliding head uh, where we use the star and that's um, allowed us to go into new markets which is great. We found that we were having to subcontract quite a lot of work out. More and more packages of work were coming and, and it encompassed sliding head work. So initially because of the, uh, the cost of, of purchasing one and it wasn't really our type of work, we used to subcontract it out. But when more and more people were realising what we were doing, we started to look at the, the possibility of buying our own sliding head and bringing it in-house. What we're finding now is on the automatic machines, which are quite old technology, the jobs that they were doing were not high tolerance, so um, and we're not like aerospace standard or defence standard. And the level, I mean, the, okay, it's a brand new machine, so you would expect it, but the level of tolerances and the surface finish is beautiful. And the big key factor for us is that when we used to make original parts off the automatics, we used to have to second opt them on another machine, so it's a second process. Now, of course, the, the, the sliding head, the star, can do it all in one hit, and we know that the tolerances are going to be right in conjunction with one another. So that's a real saver for us. With Star, there's one or two individuals um, that, that we got to know initially, obviously from the sales team that came in, and they were very responsive, and, that, and we went through all the deals. And then thereafter, we went down to the open day, which we found very helpful because you can see the range of machines, what they've got. And then from there on, they would come down and discuss and have a look at the parts that you, you were going to be making and to see if what we were thinking was in line with what they were you know, thinking of actually selling to us. So from there afterwards we spoke to the technical guys and they actually came down and put those uh, bespoke parts through all the processes on the machine that we were going to buy and when we bought it as well and uh, they've been excellent. When we took the star, which is uh, just under a year ago now, um, it was a, a new type of technology for us so it was going to take some getting used to. Um, my employee that was uh, operating it has come from automatic machines so he was used to obviously like multi-spindle but it was a completely new way of thinking because it obviously had a CNC program attached to it. We asked Star if we could have like four or five days training. They came in and they like babysat my employee and went through everything with it, which was great. And then we even realised from there on when certain types of jobs that we were doing, the original ones that we were subcontracting out, what they would do is look at those jobs and go through it stage by stage with us so that we knew that we could get the machine up and running within the first few weeks and it was actually producing parts you know, rather than just sort of just doing trials on what the machine's capabilities are, it was actually producing for us, so we weren't going to be losing out. And from there on after, you know, Star have been very good. We've been allowed to ring them up whenever they want. We've had a few more days extra training to learn about, you know, back turning and different items that the Star can do. But from there on, you know, it's, it's going to be it's going to be very progressive. You know, it, it's a learning curve for us. But we're hoping, you know, with the amount of work that's coming in now, because it's getting very busy that you know, we will go on from strength to strength and, and when we possibly move uh, we're going to be having probably more than just the one of them.